crack a lacking y'all. It's Anna Sioni. Are you guys ready for Halloween? Because I am. I am super excited to drop this second makeup tutorial for you guys. Don't mind that. I was just, uh, you know, checking out my teeth. <sighs> We're going to jump right in with what we need for materials. This look is super simple. We're going to need some clown white makeup from Mayron, some black face paint. I'm using tag going to use some Mayron Star Blends. I'm going to use white and black. And I'm going to use this metallic blue paint I have. It's kind of turquoise -y. I don't really know what color it is. And I don't really know which brand I got it from, but I freaking love it. And some red and black paint mixed together and solid red paint. Also going to need some sponges and of course some paint brushes. I'm going to use a large round brush and a tiny little round brush. You're also going to need a little fluffy brush. Mine's kind of dirty, but whatever. Oh yeah, we're gonna need some sparkles. <laughs> Sparkly. All products are linked in the description below. Before we get started, I did wanna mention that I am super excited. We reached over 100 subscribers. And we just started this channel, and that's freaking awesome, so thank you guys. And I wanted to let you know that I do have a goal of reaching 1,000 subscribers, so if you could, please click that subscribe button. I am posting videos every Tuesday. Uh, you'll get a new makeup tutorial video, and sometimes you'll get random stuff in between. I have lots of things planned for this channel, and I hope you stay tuned. But without further ado, let me put some stuff on my face. All right, let's take that white clown makeup and a spongy. And smear your whole face with it. While you're doing this, remember, it's going to look a little splotchy, but that's okay. This paint is like... I don't know, like, it's clown makeup. It, it, like, is the whitest, most perfectly smooth paint. I love it. Crap, forgot my eyebrows. I went back in with some Elmer's School Glue, the purple kind that dries clear, and fluffed up my eyebrows a bunch of times, and smeared that stuff all up on them, made them nice and stuck to my face so that I could paint over it with the white. Then you continue painting your face white. Lots of blending and smudging and making it all perfect. Just keep smudging your face until your face is completely white. Now we're going to use Mayron Star Blends White with a fluffy kabuki brush. I'm fluffing, I'm fluffing, I'm fluffing, I'm fluffing. Oh my goodness. At this point, I realized I just looked weird. What do you do when you have white face paint on? You pretend to be a mime, cause why not? Then I was kind of feeling myself and I was like, what? And then I realized that my teeth are hella yellow. Ew. Oh, well, drink too much coffee, probably. <laughs> Who drinks too much coffee? Get out your round brush and your trusty blue paint. Then you're going to make some triangular shapes on your eyes. Start at the top. Sugar, I messed up my face. I forgot about that. Anyways, go to the next side. Get that stuff all situated. Then I want to make the tips of them a little bit sharper. So I drag up a little bit and taper it off. Then I move on to the bottom lid. That is scary to get that close to your eye. But trust me, the closer you get, the better. But also don't poke yourself in the eye. So fill in those triangles, make them nice and sharp. Then you get some bloody red. So my paint wasn't that uh, bloody looking, so I added some black paint into it uh, and mixed it up a little bit. Then I painted my lips. By the way, it's really weird to like be watching this video and then like commenting here. It's kind of funny. But yeah, so I'm painting my lips. La -da 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 -da, making myself look a little jokery, not too much, but just enough. And so I wanted to start with that darker color because I'm going to go in with a hotter red color. So I pat on some hot red paint, nice and bright, then jump right into the nose. So I make a rounded triangle, I guess you would call it, uh, on my nose, and then I make sure that I get right into the crevices and quacks of my nostril. We already know about the word crevice, but anyways. Uh, fill in the whole nose, fix any pieces. I like took forever on this because I just wanted it to be like absolutely beautiful and perfect. 
Uh, then I go in with a fluffy brush and my black paint, well, powder paint, and start going in on my eyes. So I start in the cracks or the creases of my eyes, the inner and outer creases, and just follow around my lid line. Get right in between my eye and my nose and drag that down. You want that to shadow the side of your nose. You don't want it to be like a perfect one, but you want it to look dirty. You definitely got to take your time with this part and use a lot of blending. Like it's going to take you a little bit. Smudge and blend, smudge and blend. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You sure did. I flushed it. I flushed the acid poop into a different drown. Only at my house. Toilet drown. A plumbing. That was awkward. Then I shadow my nose. <laughs> Use that same shadow. Get your lips. You want to do the center of the inside of your lips and then also drag that out to the corners and also a little bit around your lips just to make your lips look a little like dusty dirty. We need some crusty dusty lips up in here. This is something I do a lot. I like to shade my cupids thingy, whatever they call it. Uh, I just, I think it looks really cool uh, in the finished piece. The more clownier I get, the more I start like feeling myself. I don't know about you, but like, I think, I don't know, being a clown, it's kind of hot. I don't know. I think clowns are hot. Is that weird? I don't know. It's okay, though. I mean, it's better than being afraid of the clowns, right? Wow. I am really feeling myself. <laughs> All right, let's go in with our cheeks. We got to shade and contour. I'm just going to use some black powder, start at the hairline where my ear is. Do a straight line, fluff it out, make it look cute, and repeat the same thing on the other side. Oh god, she's still doing it! Then we go in with some black powder for our temples and our forehead area. Shade it down a little bit, make yourself look a little dirtied up, fluff out your nose a little bit. Don't forget your chin and cheeks, or under cheeks rather, uh, and drag it down to your neck a little bit. All right, let's stipple on some black paint with our stipple sponge. When you're doing this, you wanna make sure your paint consistency is a little tacky so that when you apply it, you can see all the grooves and bumps from the stipple sponge. You want that texture. It makes the piece look so much better. You wanna take that same stipple sponge and hit any of the areas uh, that you've already shadowed. So your temples, your brow ridge, your cheek lines. Now we need some eyebrows that are on fleek, and this is another hard part. It's very hard to get the eyebrows straight, but do your best. I know you can do it. And if they're a little wonky, it's fine. You're doing a clown. It's totally cool. Then something I always do is add little squiggly lines uh, or like drips under my bottom lid. Uh, you don't have to do this. I just, I like doing it. It's kind of like my thing. Oh God, she's still doing it. Oh yeah, blue sparkles. Can't have this cute clown without any blue sparkles. And that's it, y'all. That's it. It was super easy, right? I told you. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys subscribe. But for now, we'll see you next Tuesday with a She-Wolf face paint makeup look. Uh, that I know you guys will love for Halloween. De -de -de -de. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.